one is the big nation. We have the uh, high grade family, and also we have the sack nation. Shatawali's fans is this uh, is, is the fan base that activates these three fan base. This is how. Welcome to Sinless Productions. Let's walk through this history. But before that, if you're on Facebook, you can send stars to support this page. And also, if you're on, on YouTube, you can uh, maybe subscribe to the channel and maybe put on the bell icon. And also, Facebook too, you can follow me. And also, there's a trade-off trade, trade at the top that you can press it and press see more so that you will see most of this thing and if, if you're on uh, Apple Podcast audio mark in any way please make sure you press on the follow button so let's talk about the Shatta movement and how it was formed so when Satawali or Bandana went back to his 10 years um, how do you call it say? Like in 10 years without doing music or in, in 10 years of the music industry, there was one thing that Wale was looking at. That was the Gaza and the Gully side in Jamaica. As much as Wale would love these dance or things more, he was just looking at how things were working for them, how things were working for she, for the Gaza and the Gully side, how powerful those fan bases are. Because at that time, that was when these two were just dragging things left and right. So Shatawali was like, I can also do this by doing something just almost the same or the same as what uh, Gaza have or what have what uh, Goli side have. So when Shatawali came in with the Shatter uh, movement. That was when uh, he released the dance or thing. So this time it was just for few people, just few people in Nima. Shatawali before this was actually rolling up with names. What name should I give to myself? That's when he did uh, from Bandana. He came out with Bandana Wali then Dubli, Wally, then a lot of names. Just the, the Wally was stable, but it was just like, like just changing the, the first name and those things until he came out with Shatter. And why did he come out with Shatter? He found out how aggressive he is, how he like enforced things when things are wrong. So he came out with Shatter, Wally. Then from Shatter Wally, he wanted a name for his fan base. Also roll out with a lot of names. Then finally added the shutter. And what after shutter, what else? Then he added the movement. So it's like something like aggressive movement. If you want to put it like this. Shutter is a, a way or it's more like something like that that is being aggressive. And the movement, you know it yourself. So it's like more like aggressive movement. So Shatter movement. So this time, it's not like uh, he just came out with this random things. Cause he find out this industry is that doesn't favor artists. Most people or most of these industry players just roll out artists and use them, and like just what they don't want. They just want them to do certain things for them. Then after some few time, they'll be like, "We got you to do. It will be we will grow you." Like when they use you, like when they have a show for you, they want to tell you what to do and what not to do. And because you feel like this, uh, these investors or this, uh, how make I call themselves? These industry players are those people who are pushing your your career. They, they are those people who are supporting you. You have no say. But Tawali came out with the Shatter movement in a way that. Even if nobody is supporting him, even if the media is against him, the Shatter movement will be behind him. Even if nobody is with him, the Shatter movement will be behind him. So this was one thing. To push one talent, to push one man, 
to, to put to push one stand and to push the one down. This was the agenda. Uh, this was the agenda. The agenda was to do one thing: to push one talent, to push one down, to push um, one uh, one man, and to push that talent. And with this, they don't care about the media. They don't care about what the media sees, because Shatawali. He himself have already stayed back and learned a lot of things from where he was, from where when he get back to the underground. He look at things and see how things work up there. So he, before his comeback, he prepared himself. He made sure he have the the uh, shutter movement behind him. How small the shutter movement was. It keeps spreading because of how aggressive uh, the artist is here. Aggressive the artist is, and as much as people wanted to, people wanted this kind of artist for a very long time because back there there's we don't have any kind of aggressive artist in the industry. No, we may have some people who wrote back then too because um, I heard Ochami Kwame was. Those kind of like, uh, it imitated like, I don't know, it really imitated like, uh, it imitated people, some with some other people, they talk. Like, according to when you throw the beef between Indian uh, or Brafo, like, it'd be like most of the time, uh, Ochami Kwame was a villain that I bought. The story tells us. So, like, we don't have, although Ochami Kwame was a villain, he, he's not that aggressive, he's not, he doesn't have that aggression. Pasheta Wale came in with something different, something that most of the ghetto boys wanted to see in the industry. Something that the media was not ready for. Something that the uh, investors and the media players were not ready for. That's what Pasheta Wale came in with. That's what uh, this Pasheta movement came in for. And for now, this is why Shatawale can stand up and say he doesn't want any media hype or he does he never came out from the media because he know where he came from because the fact is that he actually planned this from the very beginning of his second career or his second coming the fact is that nobody saw this coming the fact is that nobody pretended uh, predicted this. The fact is that nobody actually was ready for this, including himself and his fans. None of them was ready. Then when you are talking about the media, they just didn't expect anything like this. They thought this is just one of those uh, fans. Uh, this is just one of the artists that when they came in, then you do the that. The normal color. It, the, most of these uh, uh, industry players thought this artist is one of them. Most of this, uh, like, like include like anybody thought that this artist was one of them. But with the help of this Shatta movement, Shatta Wale stood out. With the help of this fan base. This aggression movement, Shatawali, stood out. And this is what we called second coming, a proper prepared second coming to take over the industry. And moreover, this thing was created to take over the industry, to put certain things down that are not, to put certain things that, um, to put certain things to where they are supposed to be because Mr. Wale, he feel like most of these things are running in the industry wrongly and there's much more to do in the industry so with him and without the so with the fans and without the media hype or without the media at his back he can do this so with him he believe with the fans and without the media at his back without any top player at his back 
he can do this. He can prove everybody wrong. That's a one man, one stand, one done, and one talent. With this, they brought up a lot of fan bases. They made sure all these fan bases stand on the atoll. One is the big nation. We have the uh, high grade family, and also we have the sack nation. Shatawali's fans is this uh, is, is the fan base that activates these three fan base. This is how Shatawali will have a beef with your artist, for example, Samini. And the Samini fans, and way back, Samini fans will just be listening to the song and just be saying certain things on like in their rooms and those things. But the Shatta movement will come on the, online, then will go all out against the other artists. So before that, the high grade family will be like, ah, so when the why like you define your artist, then you can we come inside and do this thing. So this will what enforce the, the high grade inside. So that be where that be how the, the everything started the clash. Like you will see, see the the it will be clash in the real life. That one there you can forget it. Like you could see, see like the fan base. They cast it online because this one will prove this one in statistics. This one will prove this one in statistics. Then they start the, the rant and things. This one they start the, this this one and thing. Then this one they go coach at our in, in song and thing. Then this one goes coach some boy like some many. Then same goes to the like 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 one of the second like second best fan bases in Ghana now. That's the uh, that's the uh, Bim Nation. I don't know. It's almost competing with the setup movement though. So some way somehow they are they'll be on the same pedestal. So sorry if I said second best and it doesn't go well with you. So some way somehow they can be on the same pedestal. So this this fan base clash most of the time because of uh, how the setup movement started the from the beginning. How the setup movement start attacking other Artists because those people are attacking or those artists are attacking their favorite that Shatawali. So sometimes it could be that Shatawali is, is not even doing the fight for himself, but you see the fan base attacking that artist that want to come for their artist. So it was this kind of aggression that brought up the Beam Nation. So the Beam Nation was like, okay, so if you are doing this, then let's do this. So that's how everything started from where it began. To where it is going, from where it began, from where it is going now. Then we have, um, then we have where they feel like we can host shows on our own. We don't want anybody to book us. That's where we have the Beam Nation. That's why we have the Shatter Movement and the Beam Nation competing over the Accra Sports Studio. That's why Shatawali feel like I can do this more and more because I don't care if a media or an industry player will book me. I will do this and I will do this for myself. That's why Shatawali doesn't care on December bookings. That's why Shatawali is not ready for December booking because he has he have already booked himself in something bigger than what the industry players are doing and that's the across for studio this is more bigger than any like this like the, the, the past two years with the show that Shatawali is doing at the craft for stadium is more bigger than any of the shows that is being done in the in like in the industry for the past two years that craft for stadium show has been the headline of every December show, much respect to our uh, holy concept though. But the um, Accra Sports Stadium show is becoming the headline of every December show. The Accra Sports Stadium show is becoming the headline of every December show. That's why Sumwa. Is also interested in doing this. You can take it as envy, you can take it as anything, but he also believes in his fan base. That's why he's going all out 
at Accra Sports Stadium. He also know how much, uh, 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 how much he can pull when he wants his fan base to show up. Then we have the, the, the streams. You know, way back, like, um, these fan bases are not really ready to stream their artist's song. But with the, with the help of the setup movement, the narratives keep changing and change because now when your artist drop a song, like, you, you will just be forced to listen to your artist's song because somebody or some fan bases are ready to push their artist. Somebody or other fan bases are just ready to make sure that Shatter Wallet is on top. So they keep streaming Shatter Wallet song until there's nothing on his proof, until he has nothing to offer them. And as far as Shatter Wallet is always ready to push or to bring songs to his fans, the fans are always ready to push that agenda. So with the, this beam nation and also the, the sack nation, they always feel like if you are not going to push your artists, then at the long run, you have to make a um, fan of your artist streams. You have to make sure that uh, your artist like, is being mocked when his streams are not going well. You have to make sure that your um, artist is being mocked when maybe he failed to win an award. When like all this started because of the setup movement, because when the setup movement started, everything was highly going very well for the whole movement. Everything was going on well for the Shata movement in Shata Wale himself. So with this, this is how everything was generated. This is how. Uh, the, this is how aggressive the fan base was. This is how the fan base was actually pushing other fan bases to support their artists because of the Shatter movement. Although most people don't believe in this movement thing, but when it's your, when it's your own, that when you will notice it, it be good thing or a bad thing. But the Shatter movement has turned to for a very long time and so now everybody believe that the certain movement is the best on the continent and so now everybody and uh, until now and forever everybody believe that the certain movement has been the most aggressive and the most dominant fan base ever to hit on the continent The Shatter movement have been the dominant. The Shatter movement have been the top, uh, top most. The Shatter movement have been the like everything that a fan base will be. That's why we have, and because of this Shatter movement, that's why we have most of this uh, our team having or oh, having adding this category. The Shatter movement, the most dominant uh, category, like the most dominant fan base category. This is how everything started because you have the Shatter movement dominating and people were calling for it. It's because of the Shatter movement, that's why we have, that's why Three Music added the most dominant um, category, the most dominant fan base category in their award scheme. That's why most of these uh, award schemes are adding it. That's why we have the uh, uh, MAMES, the MTV based Africa. Are all adding this because of the chapter movement, because of how influential the chapter movement is, is because of how uh, everything began, because of how everything has been said, because of how everything is being put out today. The chapter movement is the most dominant to ever exist on this continent. So, with that being said, Thank you all for watching Sinless Production. Thank you all for listening to Sinless Productions podcast on Audio Mac on Spotify, on uh, Amazon Podcast, on Cast Podcast, on any podcast that you are listening to. And also on YouTube. 
on also on youtube please make sure you like and subscribe there and also on facebook please make sure you send me stars and also uh, like the uh, video and also uh, click on the three button at the and press see more of this content so that you'll be seeing more most of my content and also um uh, no, like anywhere you did, make sure you do everything to support this um, page, this channel, this 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 profile. Like any like, I don't know how you want to describe it, but this is how for do it. Also, if you are you are certain movement fan, please share share this so that share this to maybe like share this to five people, five groups. Like as if I would be okay, share this to five groups. Share it to your profile. Share it anywhere. Share it and also touch the wallet to find this video. Thank you all for your supportive. Poof. <laughs>